Welcome back. I'm Preston Akuski. I'm joined here this morning by David Smith. David, thanks for coming back. Thank you, sir. So last week you were here talking about honoring our heroes. Um, so just to recap for people who may not have been here, uh, when and where is that going to be happening? Uh, that's going to take place on uh, 233 uh, Kavanaugh. Uh, we're going to be doing that at our church at First Bible Baptist Church. Uh, the service will begin at 11 a.m. in the morning. And uh, we welcome everybody that's been a veteran, uh, served in the military, uh, past and present, and also our EMS, our fire, uh, city, state, and county. Uh, we're looking forward to a good day. We're also looking forward, uh, I know the mayor is pretty excited uh, about wanting to be there, so we're planning for an awesome day. Perfect, great. So today you're here to talk about your new event, or upcoming event rather, uh, Camp Camo. So just tell us a little bit about uh, what's happening there. Uh, yeah, Camp Camo is going to begin on the 8th and uh, go through the 9th. Actually, the 9th is going to be the main day on Tuesday at Michikewish Beach. And uh, we're going to be honored to have the Navy and the Marines there to lead and, and take the kids through some obstacle courses. And uh, it's going to be a pretty exciting day. So just tell us, um, you know, why is an event like this important for kids? Sort of give us a rundown about why someone should show up to this event. Yeah, Camp Camo is something that's very special. My wife and I, we've worked with young people for 20 years. And I have three teenage boys of our own, uh, 14, 16, and 18. So this is going to take uh, teenagers. Uh, the ages are from 6th grade to 12th grade. And uh, this is going to teach them to learn uh, to be a part of a team. Uh, it's going to challenge them to be cautious about their character. And uh, also it's going to be helping them to deal with uh, high intense awareness issues that they're faced with today. So what are some of the specific events that they'll be going through, do you know? Uh, some of the obstacle courses will be from running, uh, working together, uh, carrying different things. You know, in the military, there's reasons why you don't do certain things, and they have to carry out their marching orders. They have to understand them, first of all. And uh, our young people need to have the opportunity, and this is just an exciting way to take everyday challenges that they're faced with, and it brings them together as a team. Uh, there's no big eyes or little use. Uh, we all work together and uh, we can do awesome things as a team. So they're going to be doing uh, challenges from running to uh, human bridges, uh, just different things that they come up with. And I've left that up to the Navy and the Marines to just have some fun with this and uh, have an awesome day. So. Sounds like a great event. So you mentioned briefly your long history of you know, helping uh, children. Um, just tell us a little bit about that. Uh, over 20 years, my wife and I have been able to be a youth pastor and also assistant pastor. And uh, we've worked with the court systems, with probational officers, uh, helping young people. And, you know, in 1992, I was diagnosed with ADD. And I thought it was some strange disease that I had, which it wasn't anything other than the fact that I needed to pay attention and have some mentors. And this is an, an awesome way to take every young person, regardless of what their issue is, and to help them to understand that they can be something. And it's an exciting way to learn about God's Word. We're going to be going through the armor of God. And uh, this is just a reality way of putting things into reality, helping the young kids understand that they can be something and that they can step up to the plate. Perfect. That's great. Um, we're running out of time here, so just tell us a little bit about the registration when uh, kids can sign up. On August the 8th, we're going to allow the young people to come to our church and register from 6 to 7. At 7 o'clock, we're going to kick off with a pep rally, uh, getting everybody pumped up for the 8th, or actually the 9th on Tuesday. Uh, there will be a waiver that the uh, kids need to sign, so there will need to be an, an adult or guardian there with them. Uh, to participate in the activities on the 9th and for those that can't make it on Monday we will register uh, for the event on Tuesday. Perfect that's great David thanks so much for joining us again. Thank you sir.